Before we get into this video, I just want to say a huge thank you to Ridge Wallets for kindly sponsoring this video. Now, being a student comes with a lot of stress and things can get a little crazy when it comes to meeting deadlines and organising your notes in a notebook. Although I'm a firm believer of handwritten notes as it truly is the most effective way to help you retain information, but then again it would mean I would have to carry a heavy backpack everywhere I go, which is why I would recommend you get your hands on an iPad. It gives me the ability to handwrite my notes while keeping all my work in one place, which is incredibly convenient, especially since exams are right around the corner. I love the versatility of the iPad as I can transform it into a laptop when typing my essays, therefore making the iPad a very well-rounded device. Which is why I think every student needs to get one of these. Now, as elegant as the iPad looks, getting it by itself is not an ideal solution for students. This is why I would highly recommend getting the Apple Pencil. When choosing the right iPad for students, I would always recommend that you opt for the base model and avoid paying extra for the higher storage units. Note that whether that's the new iPad Pro or iPad Mini, or this iPad Air 5 that comes in this beautiful space grey with an elegant matte finish. They will all cover all your needs as a student. It only makes sense to get the iPad Pro if you're a graphic designer or someone that actually needs its power. But if you're a student whose daily tasks are based around note taking and writing essays, then owning the iPad Pro will be way too overkill and your best bet would be the iPad Air 5. And let's not forget that it packs the M1 chip to accommodate your highly demanding tasks. I have done a full review and unboxing video on the new iPad Air 5 if you would like to check it out. Now if you want your iPad to truly feel like you're writing on paper then I would highly recommend getting the paper like screen protector to give you that real paper feel whilst also protecting your screen from any scratches. I paid £34 for mine so it is fairly pricey but these do feel great and it honestly sounds like I'm writing on paper. It is also a well-rounded screen protector to have too, with an elegant matte finish to reduce the glare on this 10.9 inch screen, while avoiding fingerprints, and rest assured it won't damage your Apple Pencil tip. Also you might want to consider the Apple Magic Keyboard case which is perfect. What I love about it is it truly gives you that laptop user experience in this portable device. The trackpad and keyboard mimic a lot of the shortcuts that are found on a laptop allow me to navigate between apps and multitasking when I'm typing up my notes. It is such a great keyboard that comes at a perfect size and I truly love how it types and fills with perfect travel. It isn't too loud making it perfect if you are in a lecture hall, so rest assured that you won't be disturbing anyone. And on top of that, it is an awesome case to protect your device. However, I must note that it is a little heavy and it does come at a hefty price of £279. So I would only recommend it if it is actually needed. But there is a cheaper alternative by Logitech that I would highly recommend, which comes at a price of £149.99. It might not feel the same as the Apple Magic Keyboard, but it is fairly good with good enough travel and it is more spacious to type on and navigate with its larger trackpad. I also love some of the shortcuts it has on the keyboard such as when you want to lock your screen and you also have the flexibility to customise them. Like the Magic Keyboard it sounds amazing and it's not too loud. But then again it is definitely not something you will need and it truly depends on your preference and how efficient you want your workflow to be. To keep your iPad secure and more personalised to you. Apple included Touch ID on the power button, 
It works really well and it is very responsive. I know that I mentioned it's not worth opting for a higher storage, but here is one way you can maximize it. I would recommend you get rid of the applications that you won't be using. So in my case, it will be the Measure app, News, Apple TV and Podcasts. This will help to declutter the iPad. Then I would usually head to the App Store and download all the apps I usually use for school. I must point out that as a student, you should have access to the 365 suite by Microsoft. So I would recommend you install those in case you need to write some essays. For me personally, my life revolves around the Notion app, as this is where all my content planning and daily to-do list is found. I often like to organize my days using the Apple Calendar and Notion, and I love how easily compatible it is and how well it syncs with my devices. Google Drive is used to organize my school files and have them backed up, while also allowing me to free up the storage space on my iPad, and the Google Mail app to ensure that I'm up to date with my emails. I love how flawless the iOS software is and works perfectly. You can use the Apple Pencil for a quick screenshot or to make a quick note, which I personally find very handy. Or you can even spice up your studying by listening to Spotify on the go or watch your favourite Netflix series. Though I do not highly recommend you do that if you actually want to get some work done. As you can probably tell by now, I don't like carrying things and I love to make life a little easier for me, which is pretty much why I got the iPad. But hey, aside from being a student, I kind of have to carry a wallet with me everywhere I go. And as you can pretty much tell, the one I have right now doesn't look nice at all. So I have decided to put an end to that, which is why I have teamed up with Ridge Wallets, which is the sponsor of today's video. This is a company that creates really cool looking wallets. There's over 30 colors and styles to choose from. For me personally, I opted for their carbon fiber and aluminum styles, as I like to keep a consistent color theme across all my devices. My previous wallet was just so bulky and not nice to carry at all. With this one I can carry up to 12 cards and have room for cash. To hold your cash you can either opt for the one with a cash strap or money clip. However for me I prefer the cash strap more. Furthermore RFID blocking technology is used to protect you from digital pickpocketers which is always a good addition to have. I love the minimal design that lets you do more with less. This has now become my go to wallet that I will be carrying around with me everywhere I go. This would make a perfect gift for a loved one, especially since Father's Day is right around the corner. If you would like to check it out, I will leave all the relevant links in the description below. Hey, I've also hooked you guys up with a 15% discount code if you use the coupon code Ryan McKyle. And I will leave all the relevant information in the description below. And once again, a huge thank you to Ridge Wallets for kindly sponsoring this video. Taking notes on this device honestly feels like an art, as it truly allows you to become creative to help make studying more fun and easier to learn. Notability which has become my main note taking app when studying, it has a lot of awesome features such as the ability to record your lecturer's voice and be able to play it back in your own time so that you don't miss out. You can quickly erase your text if you made a mistake without actually making a mess. You'll also have the ability to organise different notebooks for each of your subjects or modules, which obviously means goodbye to carrying heavy books. To make the most out of this app, you would have to buy a subscription or you can get it for free if your educational institution uses Apple's School Manager. Notion is definitely one of my favourite apps to use, especially when organising my notes so that it's easier to revise. I love the huge number of templates that you can use as well to help you further refine your workflow and increase your productivity. Notion also requires a subscription plan but you can always use your institution email to use their pro plan for free. Remember that I said there is no need to buy an iPad with a higher storage. Now you can pretty much opt for the USB-C hub to connect your hard drive and expand your storage further. So as I said before, there is no need to get the 256 GB option. You can use that extra money to spend on accessories such as the Apple Pencil. Although the iPad Air doesn't offer a 120Hz display, it still offers a good enough display to take notes and enjoy watching movies and also listening to music through its amazing speakers. Taking advantage of live text when taking photos via its 12 megapixel sensor will allow you to copy the text very easily onto one of your note taking apps and you will never have to worry about going out of frame in your meetings with the center stage technology found in the front facing camera. 
I love the matte finish of this device and let's not forget about the powerful M1 chip that will allow you to undergo highly demanding tasks such as 4K video editing flawlessly, which is more than enough to help me get through all my daily tasks. And of course we can always charge up the device using the provided USB-C cable and 20 watt power adapter. I'm also a firm believer in preserving the life of the battery over time, which is why I partnered with Witty Power who have sent over this little device right here. The way it works is when your device has reached 100% charge, it will disconnect from the power automatically. This is very important because keeping the battery at a high voltage when charging your device will wear it down and therefore decrease its capacity over time. It's also a nice and portable little device that supports up to 65 watts and is compatible with my iPad, Apple Watch, headphones, Bluetooth speaker and iPhone. So it will definitely be with me everywhere I go. If you guys want to check it out, I will leave a link in the description below. I just hope this video will help you approach studying from a different direction by making it more fun and productive. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. I've been Ryan and I will speak to you guys soon. Take care.